Hi, my name is Dr. Carol Gedenberg. I'm a pediatrician in Boulder, Colorado. I hope you enjoy this video. When going to the doctor just won't do, Dr. Agador is there for you. Today we're gonna to talk about dog and cat bites and what to do at home before you get to the doctor's office. The first and most important thing to do if your child is bitten by an animal is to wash the wound out with soap and water. That will get rid of almost all of the infectious bacteria and can also decrease their risk of getting something like tetanus or rabies from the wound. The next thing you need to do is go to the doctor's office and tell them what happened. If it was a stray animal and you're able to capture the animal and have it tested by a local veterinarian to check if it has rabies, that would be ideal. If it's somebody's pet, make sure their rabies vaccine is up to date. If your child has not received five doses of DTaP because they're too young or because they are um, electively unvaccinated or you're vaccinating on a delayed schedule or if they've had a reaction to a vaccine, then they're going to need to get a tetanus vaccine at the time of the dog or cat bite and they're also going to need to get something called tetanus immune globulin. What that is is pooled antibodies against tetanus that will help to fight off the possibility of getting tetanus. That's passive immunity that's given to your child. Most dog or cat bites will also need some antibiotics afterwards. That's because dogs and cats have long canine teeth that can puncture into the skin and bring infection deep underneath. So while getting them washed out, getting the wound washed out with soap and water will get most of the bacteria, there may still be some that are left behind and those bacteria can grow under the skin. So it's a great idea to talk to a doctor and see if your child needs antibiotics to prevent an infection. Most dog or cat bites do not need stitches or other ways to keep them closed. If you have a bite that is a linear laceration, meaning a line that kind of slices through the skin, that could be sewn closed. But even so, the doctor might recommend against it. That's because the canine teeth are so long and can introduce infection deep underneath there that you don't want to sew the skin closed and hold the infection in. So in most cases, and especially with puncture wounds, you want the wound to heal from the bottom up and you want that infection to be healed out of it rather than sewn in and growing under the skin. Thank you for watching. Again, I'm Dr. Carol Gedenberg. Take care. When going to the doctor just won't do, Dr. Agador is there.